our thanks to Henrik. We have another video, this time from the Swedish government spirits monopoly store, System Blogget. Mm. I've already missed a few. Now, the Swedish kroner is about 10 to 1 US dollars. So Dalwini at 500 would be $50, something like that. 35 for the Devron 12. Um... I'm going to guess this is going to be fairly standard bottles here. Glen Murray, Glen Grant. Is that a no age statement? Anyway, they're both about, what, 30, 35. The Finlagen also somewhere around that price. Wow, only $18 for Etrodara. That, that's a tiny bottle, isn't it? <laughs> that's why. Anok, somewhere around $40. What does a Bunna cost? Hmm, $60, $70, let's say, something like that. And the standard Abuna, around 400 Something's popular. There's an empty gap. It's going to be Ardbeg 10, surely. What was it? Oh, no, it was Anok. It's missing. A, a sherry cask. Okay, Ano, 57. Ardcore, oh dear, $125. Uh, there's Ardbeg 10. Okay, 55. Pretty good. What kind of Glen? Oh, it's just standard Glen Fiddick 12 for around 40. Well, I guess they had the Ardbeg special release. We might see some other specials. Who knows? Glen Fiddick 12 coming in at around $25. Glen Livick. Glen Goyne. Oh, hang on. Okay. A 21 year Glen Goyne. What's that going to cost? Hmm. 21. Wait. Glen Goyne 21. $50. Ah, I see. The Glen Goyne is just a 20 mil bottle at 50. The full bottle is about 160 ish. Okay. The Glenlivet 18. What's the price? Come on, Henrik, move that. Oh, missed that price. No, nope, we're going to get it. No, we're not going to get it. Okay, Bonnehaven is around 40. The Bowmore 15, around 60. And the 12 year Bowmore, about $40. Oh, okay, Ugadal is around 80. And what's the Aaron? Heavily peated sherry cask, 55 approximately. 55 on the double wood. And we've already seen the Beaumore. Iliac. Uh, okay, Glenmorangie. Some standards here, aren't they? 45. What's missing? Highland Park 18, I think that was. Missing for about $95. The cask strength, somewhere around the low 30s. Oh, that's cheap, isn't it? And the low 30s on the naked, well, grouse, I guess it used to be. Uh... Singleton, 37. Okay, Lefroy, 10, 45. And Lagavulin, 16. On the shelf, not too many of them, apparently. But around 77 US dollars. Not too much uh, to complain about there. There's a little Lefroy. 50 on the quarter cask and 38 on the select. Still good value, aren't they? The, the standard bottles. Lachlow and Madeira cask. Only $30. Tamnavolin's always seems to be a cheap one. The double cask at $34. Never had a Tamnavolin. Tom and Towel, another bargain at $30. Wow, there's Longmore in 16. That is what, 73? Now I know that's about $125 um, at Total Wine. That is a cheap one. Well worth it, I would say. It's a little Loch Lomond selection pack there. 
Oh, Henrik's having a look. Yeah, it is the... I mean, it's not the green old one, but this has been around for three or four years in this purple box. I wonder how long it's been on the shelf there. Just one left, apparently. I've had very little experience with Loch Lomond, just a couple of samples. We still have one in the blind tasting. All right, what's the standard Macallan's going to cost us? Somewhere around $55, $60. No idea what that is for $33. High coast. Uh, what's the high coast local whiskey? Around 50 Mac, Mac Myra? Yeah, okay. $40 for that. Another, is that another Tam Novolin? Oh, hang on, there's Torre Vague. I missed the price on that one. Um, yes, more Tam Novolin. Well, I haven't seen anything super exciting. Oh, Talisker. 55 on a Talisker 10, sorry, 45, and about 40 on Sky. Not too bad. It's funny, when I first saw the box, I thought that was going to be like Macallan, Traveller, whatever, editions. Another McMira, or is it McMira? Uh, $60, $50, The Rook, is that uh, uh, the peated one? Oh, we have a few more. Let's see. Old Pheasant. <laughs> okay, it's a blended Swedish whiskey. 55, about 80 on the Silent Mills collection. 88, 90 on the eight-year-old there, Smurgen. Wow. Some sold out. Oh, there's quite a few. Hang on, what's this? That flag is what? Oh, it's rye, Swiss rye whiskey? Oh, Danish, sorry. What are these? Don't even know how the prices compare. Bullet's always cheap down at Total Wine. $38, that seems pretty fair. Probably cheaper than you'd get it in the UK, maybe. So Heaven, uh, around $50 and 65 for the little triangular bottle. Can't quite make out the prices there. A little bit of Irish whiskey down there as well. I guess we're going to see. Oh, some Japanese, kind of. What else are we seeing up here? Woodford Reserve next to Paddy's. $27 for the Paddy. One, wow, $16, $17 for the well, Tullamore Dew, was it? Blended Japanese whiskey, but where's the whiskey from? Well, Nika from the barrel. Okay, about 48. That's probably a 500 ml bottle. Um, that's uh, that's good. Some more Nika. I guess that's all we're going to get. Thanks, Henrik.